let me introduce you to FC Tech Energy, a pioneer in creating a market for fuel cells in India. The startup is a fuel cell and sustainable energy technology firm that aims to address the mission critical and backup power needs of the defense, homeland security, telecom, smart cities, oil and gas and industrial segments. It is a MSME, ISO certified and accredited with Dun and Bradstreet. Let's dive into the journey of FC Technology. Incubated in 2016 by retired Colonel Karandeep Singh with a handful of professionals, FC Technology today employs highly trained engineers, power electronics experts and ex-defense professionals who operate out of a 5,000 square feet facility in Gurugram that includes a R&D and repair center. With over 700 fuel cell solutions already deployed in India for the defense, CAPF, Smart Cities and DRDO, the company has invested substantially in R&D to develop its in-house energy management systems and special power banks for which it has already filed several patents. The core principle if I really talk about this is about our passion for sustainability being done in an innovative manner. So versatility and working unconventional in these areas was what I think really uh, brought the drive and the passion to do something in this field for us. And that's how, I mean, the beginning we started the journey. We, I think we were just a handful of about two to three people who started along with me at that time. And seriously, in 2015, 16, when I was doing this, there were no takers. I was almost advised by every single person not to do it. But I was convinced that I am on the right path and that's what I was never going to look back. And of course, the first success took us almost about two years in coming. But that was like a tonic to us to say that, yes, I think we are going to go ahead and make it a bigger success. Besides military grade fuel cells, products of FC Technology can be classified into industrial grade fuel cells and energy management systems. So what happens is when, when our Indian Army troops go out on long-range patrols, they carry a lot of electronic equipments, which are radio communication equipment, civilian equipments, and they go out for, say, 14 days, 21 days patrols in eastern borders and, other, uh, and northern borders. So when they go out, they carry a lot of batteries because they don't have anything to charge these batteries on the field. So this has been a problem for decades with the Indian Army. Now with our fuel cell-based man-portable battery charger, they are able to solve this problem. So now with this, now they are able to charge their batteries on the field, on the move, which gives them a huge operational advantage and gains. Now coming to hybrid power uh, management solutions, what we do is we make a hybrid solution using our fuel cell, solar and battery bank, which is addressing or which can replace the existing diesel generator sets uh, in, the, in, the, in the defense forces. They have been the first company to market and commercialize direct methanol fuel cells in India for the defense, homeland security and smart cities. FC Technology has several landmarks to its credit. In 2019, the company set up India's largest city-wide RF wireless network for smart cities. Over the years, the company has received many accolades, putting forth its strong domain expertise. We are the first company in Sunnyvale to implement a fully integrated energy management story that has a battery energy storage system. So out of thousands of companies in the world that sit there, we are the first. I met uh, Karan, the CEO and MD of uh, FCT Energy, through understanding the market and some common people we know in the industry, and I started investigating what they do, and there came the fuel cell. So that's where the fuel cell story started. So initially, we engaged FCT to just manage our fuel cell as a backup to a fuel-powered generator. Then as we started investigating, we felt that they had an amazing history in India, what they had been doing for the government of India. But more importantly, they were a startup, and the philosophy of entity in California in that building was to promote startups, because we are an innovation hub. Started with fuel cell, then the story became bigger, then we said, we want to be a net zero building, so therefore it means we need to manage more energy. Fuel cell was just a small backup. Then we decided to go to solar, so we started the solar journey. So FCT designed the whole project, started managing and we integrated, but we needed to run a larger building to be net zero compliant. 
So therefore, we went ahead and started working with them in the next level of integration, which is a battery energy storage system. In the initial discussions with uh, the organization predecessing FC Technology started in uh, technology exchange. And then in 2016, we formalized it and joined forces here with uh, Karan Deep Singh and his team of FC Technology. Since then, it has been a very swift, a very uh, rewarding and interesting journey. We have deployed hundreds of systems in India, helping and contributing to the country's targets here with their uh, um, uh, emission reduction plans. So as one of the pioneers in this industry and, and the leading industrial supplier of fuel cells also on a, on a worldwide basis for stationary and portable applications, it is very clear for us now to take the next step in India, set up together with our partner local content uh, uh, for the different product offerings, which means setting up and own a uh, company there with, with uh, technology development as well as manufacturing capabilities, and then exploit together the vast possibilities of the market under the leadership here from uh, uh, Karan Deep Singh. I'm pretty convinced we will show the first uh, tangible steps already in 2022, and I think we are easily operational as early as 2023. It was in 2020 when FC Technology won its first net zero energy projects with NTT in Sunnyvale, California, USA. Not only this, it became the first Indian company to win fuel cell contracts with Indian Army and Air Force in 2021. In the same year, FC Technology signed a strategic agreement with Bharat Electronics Limited for addressing the Indian defence and homeland security needs. In 2022, FC Technology won the prestigious IDEX challenge by the India Defence Production Ministry of Defence to design an indigenous fuel cell-based intelligent auxiliary power unit for the infantry combat vehicle. Today we are at the threshold where we say that we are going to soon make an announcement about with our partners who are like our German partners to manufacture and bring these fuel cells into India under Make in India and as we talk about Atmanirbhar Bharat so that this technology would now be available as a made in India technology for Indian use and not only that in future we also have plans to export it out of India. FC Technology specialities do not cease to this. The company offers services in energy audit, design and engineering, system integration and technical support, post-deployment support, repair and maintenance of fuel cells. It has proven to be a startup that has an unconventional and out-of-the-box thinking which is focus-driven.